Now so that I don't tuck in a billion cables and forget about the USB 3, I'm going to go ahead and install that real quick. There's also a few other cables that I need to install that I don't want to forget about. Like, you know, all the header cables and everything. Amazingly important. You know, if you feel like turning your computer on and not having to use a screwdriver or anything. Alright, uh, i got to figure out how I'm going to do this so that you guys can see it too. Alright, so that you can see right down here is where I got to connect the USB 3, which is why I had to make that huge cut. So, I'm going to fit it under there. Wish me luck. Perfect. With some space and now so you guys can see it. This is that USB 3 cable. So I'm just going to tuck it back in here just so that nothing gets in its way. There are some other cables I need to attach in the front. The USB 2 header and all the reset power button, LED, all those headers too. Let's see, anything else? Oh yeah. HD audio as well. So I know for a fact these are going to go along the front. And let's not leave anything to my memory. All right, so front panel audio goes right here on this board. Okay, USB 2 right over here, and the front panel header is right here. Easy enough. Let's turn it back around. And because we made all those incisions, this is going to look beautiful. Okay, HD audio. That's the furthest one across. Alright, let's see if there's an easy way to do this. There is, I'm just going to have to slide it through and under everything. one. Not going to connect it right now, just to show you. Put off all of them in first, okay. Front panel headers. Do the same thing. Let's just follow that cable. Alright, I'm going to follow that HD audio cable. Obviously not all the way. Alright. Then that'll be right over here. So I'm just going to put it behind here. Feed it through here. Right now I'm, I'm going to of course have to come back to that in a little bit. Alright. And last but not least USB 2.0. Follow that same path. All right. Here we go. Here is the front panel audio. Front panel audio, there's only one way to connect it because there is an extra connector 
I'm sorry, there's one missing. Okay. Now, USB, also one missing, so like front panel audio. There's only one way to install it. In case you didn't know, that's the right way. <laughs> All right. USB 2.0 right over here. And actually, I'm going to fish that one back through because the USB 3 header is kind of blocking it. I just want to get it perfect. Front panel audio. Okay. Now USB 2. Fish it back out. And now we have the USB 3 right over here. Okay, so that's going to come right over here. Okay. Perfect. Connect it. Right there. All right. Just going to tug on that cable to make it look nice. All right. Perfect. And now <clears throat> the front panel headers. Now, every single motherboard, or let me correct myself. Not every single motherboard tells you what these are. Some you have to look inside the motherboard manual. If you don't have a motherboard manual, go online. I'm sure your motherboard manufacturer will make them. So, okay, so the bottom right hand one is HDD LED. Okay, and then HDD LED. And And if you're lucky, they'll tell you which one is positive and which one is negative. Thankfully, I'm lucky. They tell you which one is positive, which one is negative. And that, if that particular cable comes in two separate uh, connections, this comes in one. So, I'm sorry, in two. But thankfully, they tell me what's what. Whoops, plugged in the wrong one. That was reset. Headers are connected. Now I'm just pulling them through, making them look nice. Alright. So now I'm going to use a bunch of zip ties to make everything look pretty. Before we do that, you go ahead and plug in the video card and the PCIe SSD because those will need cables too. The PCIe is a by one or sorry by four. Okay, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to plug it in on the by four. You can plug it in in a by sixteen as well, and it'll work just as well. Okay, now before you plug these in, you do have to unscrew these over here, and to do that, they actually have a little lock over here. Oh, that's kind of nice. Slide open, unlock it. Since I do know, I'm going to take off the top two for the video card. Just going to go ahead and undo that real quick. Tell you what, I mean, they didn't think of everything with this case, but man, they made up for what they did think of. And actually, I am going to go ahead and plug it in in the by 4 slot. 
even though I don't need to. Oh, you know what? Let me show you how to install them in case you don't know how to. You saw me undo the PCIe dust covers. Alright, so now I'm going to plug this guy in right in here. Again, a by 4 or a by 1 slot will fit in any one of these. Only a by 4 or a by 1 will fit in here. Here, 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 and here. By 16s or by 8s will fit. And then with that, again, a by four or a by one will fit. Only a by one and a by four will fit here. So to put that, all you do is push this, okay, right through there, and just slide it in. That's it. It's installed. Really, really simple. And now we're going to, of course, want to retain that card. So we'll just go ahead and screw it in. Same thing goes for a video card. This is a by eight or by 16 slot. You want to try to keep it by 16. Again, by eight is a by 16. A 16 is a by eight. Now, electrically, there might be a difference. Some have a different connection. I mean, sorry. Some are electrically by 8, some are electrically by 16 or by 8. Top one is usually always electrically by 16, physically by 8, physically by 16. Okay. And just as before, slide it in. Super simple. You also know when you've installed it right. Depending on your motherboard, you have a little PCIe clip here that kind of keeps the card from falling out during shipping or something. And as we did before, we're just going to go ahead and screw it in. This is a double by wide card. So it takes up two PCIe slots. Now, physically, it only plugs into one. So anything under that is essentially wasted, but as you saw, this board has that one PCIe slot, then a blank slot with nothing there, because most cards are double wide. All right. You know, connect these guys, the 2x8s, for simple, just connect them, push them right in. Actually, I'll do it right over here. Now, you might notice there's a notch right here on the video card. Let me raise this so you can see it a little bit better. All right, there's a little notch right here. There's also a notch right here, a little clip. That clips in there and make sure it's good. Make sure it's nice and snug. And you just push it in. All right, there you go. The cable is, I'm sorry, the computer is complete, completely cabled. I do need to fish one more connection right here for a SATA power, but you saw me uh, with the Molex connector, the one Molex into two SATAs. I'm gonna fish that through here and connect it there, make it look as pretty as possible. I'm not gonna bore you with that, but we are done with the cabling portion. You saw me connect all the hard drives there. I'm going to connect the other ones, but I will come back to you in a sec just to show you everything.